Hello everyone, yeah, welcome back once again. We are, uh, I am Victor Odigomayo here. We are still uh, looking at a uh, uh, logarithm of numbers. In the last class, we have been able to connect the relationship between standard form and logarithm of numbers, okay? And I encourage you, if you have not looked at that, you do that because it is necessary to connect you to what we are going to be looking at right now in this class. So in this discussion, we are going to be looking at bar, what I call bar notations. This idea, this concept is coming from the fact that assuming one is given to simplify something like 0 0.71 times maybe 0 0.0056 okay like this without calculator and you found the log of this of course it's going to be bar one point something 71 under zero and you also looked at you know checked out for bar i mean the the log reading of uh, 0 0.0056 which by this which I explained in the last class is going to give us bar 30 point. Then you take 56 under zero or whatever. You realize that we are going to be needing, because of this multiplication, to add this. And you are seeing something here. That is what is going to lead us to this. This part is considered to be positive. This part is considered to be negative because of this bar notation. Do we get? So how are we going to handle, resolve this addition? Or if it is subtraction, how are we going to resolve it? Or if it is multiplication, how are we going to resolve it? Or if it is division? Because you are going to be encountering something like that. For instance, assuming this is raised to power 3, it then means whatever I get from here and here, after adding them, I need to, let's assume I have bar 3 out of it point something and then i'm going to say divided by three do we get so how are we going to resolve by three point something something over three okay and how are we going to resolve it assuming that this is in root four which means that whatever i got i get from here sorry this to power will be multiplication times three and this will be divided by divided by three divided by no rather four divided by four i'm sure i didn't confuse in that thing i explained now the previous one i did was to power three and because it is raised to power three how to clear that power is by multiplying whatever it is in fact examples is going to help us to to get this okay now what i'm trying to explain is that we are going to be encountering issues like this why handling problems like this so it's better i resolve it first before venturing into solving problems like this so solution assuming i have a matter like this a and i have bar two point you know there will be other figures okay there which you add like you are adding positive numbers those ones are not the issue Okay, and you are adding it to bar 30.1. Other positive numbers are also here, and you are going to add them like you're adding a positive number. They're not the issue. My concern is here, these bars. So assuming I have this added to this, this last will be seven. You add them like positive numbers. You add this small point. Now, what about this added to this? This is going to be bar five. That is adding two negative numbers i'm sure that explanation is taken what about if you have b this one that says bar 2.8 eh, plus bar 1.3 what is going to happen here look at this 8 plus 3 will give us 11. you know you add that part that might is that part you add it like you're adding positive numbers so the last assuming this is the last after the other ones and you say eight plus three this will give you 11 you write one carry one put the small point 
then that one should be added here. You see, it is like you are now saying minus two plus minus one, then you are adding plus one on top of it. You see that this, you remove this, and you have bar two left as a result. Or you say my one added to minus two, we remain minus one. Then minus one plus minus one will give you minus two. I'm sure that explanation is well taken. Do we get that? All right, look at this other matter. Here we have number what now? Number C. Number C. In that number C, we have minus 30.2. Hmm? Then minus, this is bar 3.2. Then minus bar 3 again. There, look at it. Bar 3.2. All right, let's take it. 2 minus 8. You know, normal thing, like how you handle positive numbers. 2 minus 8 is what? Not possible, right? All right, I'm going to borrow one from here. This is the critical issue. Borrow one from here. You know, this is minus three. And you remove one out of it again. Thus, we take it down to minus four. I'm sure you will get this. This is bar three, like minus three. You remove one out of it again. It will now become minus three plus minus one, which will give you minus four. You get it now. So what is left here now is minus 4. And that one you took will enter here and become 12. So 12 minus 8 will give you 4. You put your decimal point. Now you are now seeing this thing as minus 4, no longer minus 3. Or bar 4, no longer bar 3. Do we get that? So this, what you are bringing together now is bar 4 or minus 4 minus into minus 3. You see, minus into minus 3. Okay? So you treat this as negative values. So this will become minus 4 plus 3. And that will give you bar 1. Did you see how we're able to resolve this? That's how the, the way you go about it. Okay. That's why I told you that I need to handle this separately. So that we can be able to capture it and move on. D. The D part says bar 2.0 minus bar 1.7. So look at that subtraction. 0 minus 7, is it going to be possible? No. So I will borrow 1 from here. If I take it here, it will become 10. 10 minus 7 will give me 3. And then this is now bar what? 3. It's now minus 3 because you've removed and it's minus 2 before you remove again to become minus 3. So this bar 3, look at it, bar Three minus into minus one, sort of. Okay, so this will be bar three plus one, which will now give you give us a bar two point this. So this is the critical part of what we are doing. If one doesn't understand this, it will be difficult for that person to be able to capture this when we are solving bigger problems. What about the next one, which is um, I mean, do you know? D okay E E says bar 4.2 that it this bar 4.2 times 2. Okay, let's look at this. This times this is 4. Okay, this times this is that one it doesn't have problem. Okay, look at that. No big problem about that. Let's go to the next one. F F Okay, this is bar 2.9 be multiplied by 4. Okay, this times this, that is 4 times 9, will give us 36. So, 36, 36, we are going to write 6, carry 3, 3. Okay, then put your decimal point 4 times, like 4 times minus 2, we give minus 8. Then that minus 8, plus 3, 
we return us back to bar 5. That is minus 5. Do you see how we're able to resolve that? All right. Now, finally. Is it finally? Is it finally? Let me quickly show us. I have been able to show us the part, excuse me, that has to do with addition, addition, subtraction, subtraction, multiplication, multiplication. Let's finally look at a part that has to do with division. Okay. So, I'm sure you have been able to take down this before I explained it. Let me not, uh, you know, please also look at that as I look at the example I have here in my notes. Uh, look at this example on division. It says, this is a F. G, G will be, G will be, bar 2.6 divided by 2. H will be, H will be, bar 3, bar 3.5, bar 3.5 divided by, divided by 5, divided by 5. Let me add one more. A, B, C, G, G, H, I, I will be by 3.2 divided by 4. I think if I can be able to get us understand this 3, I think it will help. I trust God it will. I trust God it will help us to understand it because after this explanation, I am now going to go into solving problems bigger problems and i wouldn't like you to get lost when i'll be doing this over there that's why i have to take my time to break it down to this level so here what is it going to be like to say by 2.6 divided by it's very simple on this. The answer is this enter here will be by one point. This is three. Okay. So I'm done with that. There's no big you know issue there. Let's go to the one that has, I think I have H that might possibly have a little issue. Bar 3.5 over 5. What is going to happen here? Can this go as as this was able to handle this? Can this handle this? There's going to be a little issue. And this is where I want you to pay adequate attention. How am I going to resolve this? Because you are going to encounter that. What is? So what you are going to do is that bring what this thing that is dividing this, bring it up. Yes, bring it up, and do some, you know, manipulation here to maintain this. Watch it. I will bring it up by five. And how, what am I going to do this now to return it back to this? It is just to add two. I have, this is minus five plus two, and that's minus three. Okay, it's close. Then point five, all over five. So this is divisible now, it's possible now. So this into this will give me by one. Then, take it out. This into this, like five into two, not possible. You add your decimal point and call this 25. 5 into 25 will give you 5. So this is the answer. Hmm? Yeah. So simple? Yes. So simple. Look at it too. I. I is. I'm sure I'm not covering anything there. I is. Uh, by 3.2. All over 4. Do you notice the same issue here again? So I'm going to bring this thing up. So I'll bring up bar 4. Then what am I going to do to return it to what this is? It's just to add 1. Because this will return back to this. So I didn't commit any offense. It's as it is. So then this eh, 
you put your point two. The value is as it is. So divided by four. So this can enter here and give you by one. And then this into this not possible. You put your decimal point and then four into 12 will give you three. So this is how to resolve issues that has to do with bar notation in division in division okay so i'm trusting god that this explanation is uh, adequate enough so when we come in the next class what we are going to be looking at is uh, problems emanating from logarithm of numbers remember we are going to be looking at resolving issues that has to do with powers resolving issues that has to do with um, root resolving issues that has to do with multiplication and division so we are going to be encountering these bar notations in cases here we'll be handling numbers that are less than one especially so i will employ you to hang on with us please stay put and you are not going to regret being part of this class thank you so much i remain victor Please share this video. Share it to your friends so that they can be part of the class, okay? And subscribe to the channel. It doesn't take anything. Just to click the notification, the subscription button there. You click the notification, the subscription button, and also click the notification button. It doesn't it doesn't take anything, okay? It's just for you to be notified when we make our uploads. By so doing, you encourage us in what we are doing. Thank you so much. And God bless you.